stay safely at home so what is natural vibration that i will discuss today so natural vibration or free vibration you know that vibration means periodically it will vibrate and when there is no external force acting on the body and the body is vibrating by itself then the vibration of the body is known as free vibration or natural vibration so what is natural vibration the periodic vibration of a body in absence of any external force on it is called natural or free vibration all right now the example one by one i am discussing all right first one is when you just take a pendulum suppose you have taken a pendulum to its extreme position then you release it then you have seen that when you have released when the pendulum bob is out of your hand then no force is acting no force you are applying on the pendulum then the pendulum will oscillate to and fro like this and if there is no air or no uh, means if it is vacuum it is free space then what will happen no resistive force will also on act on the pendulum and the pendulum will vibrate due to the weight of the bob only due to the gravitational force only is that clear means what is what we can say that the bob is vibrating by itself all right so that is one example of natural vibration and you know that when a pendulum oscillate then what is the time period of a pendulum it is given by 2 pi under root l by g and what is the frequency of vibration of the pendulum it is 1 by 2 pi under root g by l is that clear so these are the two relation you are supposed to remember that what is the frequency of free vibration of a simple pendulum it is given by 1 by 2 pi under root g by l and l is the effective length of the pendulum and g is acceleration due to gravity now second example suppose a body of mass m is attached with a spring all right this is a spring and then what you are doing either you may contract it you may contract it or you may stretch it and then you release then you will observe that the mass attached with the spring it will vibrate in this case it will vibrate like this and in this case in this case it will vibrate up and down okay there will be a periodic vibration clear now in this case what is the frequency frequency is given by 1 by 2 pi under root k by m the examples i am discussing for each and every example you must remember what is the frequency of the vibration in the previous one for simple pendulum what was the frequency 1 by 2 pi under root g by l in this case frequency is given by 1 by 2 pi under root k by m now this k it is known as spring constant or it is also known as force constant and it depend it depends on the nature of the spring all right so you see here this is an one example of natural vibration and frequency it depends on the load mass of the body and the expression for frequency is given by 1 by 2 pi under root k by m so this relation for frequency third example of natural vibration is a vibration of a tuning fork all right now tuning fork you know it is having a one handle and then a prongs are there now if you just strike the prong on a rubber pad and if you hold the prong near your ear you can hear you can hear the sound all right now you will observe that frequency of the sound produced by a tuning fork it depends on the length of the prong and it depends on the mass of the prong if the prong is heavy then the frequency of the sound produced by that prong will or by the tuning fork will be less so you can write like this mass of the prong if it is mass of prong if it is more 
then frequency is less and vice versa means if mass of the prongs are less then frequency is more next example is organ pipes organ pipe means what it is a pipe the most common example is flute that if you have a pipe who, whose both the ends are open then it is known as open end organ pipe and there are another kind of organ pipe means open end organ pipe it looks like this all right you see both the sides are open and closed end organ pipe means its one end is closed another end is open then it is known as closed end organ pipe all right in case of open end and closed end organ pipe both of them what happens the air confined within it they exhibit the free vibration or natural vibration all right now whenever if you consider the sound produced by open end and closed end organ pipe then you will observe in the sound produced by the open end or closed end organ pipe different frequency sound is present all right out of them the minimum frequency sound present is known as the fundamental frequency just you consider this example suppose in any organ pipe the frequencies present are 25 hertz 50 hertz then suppose it is 60 hertz and then 75 hertz then 109 hertz like this means the sound produced by organ pipe so many frequencies are present all right now if you consider all the frequencies out of them the minimum frequency it is known as the fundamental frequency is that clear this is known as the fundamental frequency all right now if you consider a uh, open end organ pipe in that case if the fundamental frequency is given by n then so as i said in case of open end if you consider n be the fundamental frequency means the lowest frequency then what will be the other frequencies present in the sound produced by the organ pipe it will be n then it will be 2n 3n 4n 5n 6n like this all right means always the frequencies are multiple of the fundamental frequency so you see if i ask you now this question comes that what are the frequencies of sound present in a present in the sound produced by open end organ pipe then you see what is the ratio 1 is 2 2 is 2 3 is 2 4 like this clear now if you consider a closed end pipe in that case what happens if n be the fundamental frequency then you will see what will be the frequency present in the sound produced by the closed end organ pipe it will be n 3n 5n 7n then it will be 9n like this means you see here the odd multiples of the fundamental frequencies are present whereas in this case both even and odd multiples of fundamental frequencies are present so this is the point you have to remember and this one also means in case of open end pipe if n be the fundamental frequency then what are the other frequencies present it will be 2 and 3 and 4 and 5 and 6 and means if i ask you then what are the ratio of the frequencies of sound present in the sound produced by open end organ pipe it will be 1 is to 2 is to 3 is to 4 5 so on but in case of closed end pipe only the odd frequencies are present means in this case what is the ratio of the frequencies present 1 is to 3 is to 5 is to 7 is to 9 so on so you must remember this fact it is very important um, concept in physics that in open end both the odd and even multiples of frequencies are present whereas in closed end only the odd multiple of frequencies are present in the sound produced by it now the example i will discuss that is the most important from the point of view of board exam 
so each and every point i am saying you must learn and remember it first understand it so vibration of straight string you know music means physics and musical instrument the sitar what is violin is there sitar is there what is used to uh, produce the music nothing but a straight string all right so when in case of a straight string any sound is produced either by striking the string or by plucking the string anyway then the frequency of sound produced it is given by this relation frequency is equal to 1 by 2 l under root t by pi r square d l is the length of the string t is the tension in the string then r is the radius of the string and d is the density of the material used to make the string d is the density of the string density of the material is that clear so here you see this relation from this relation one can conclude so if you remember this relation then you can easily write down all the relation for length radius density and tension just see here f and l l is in the denominator so what you can write f is inversely proportional to l is that clear then next one if you consider tension how you can write f is directly proportional to square root of tension is that clear then come to r it is under root r square so if you take r outside it will become r square outside it will become r only so one can write f is inversely proportional to the radius another one f is inversely proportional to under root density so i prefer always that you remember this formula from this one you can write all this separately that frequency of the straight string depends on length of the string how does it depend inversely proportional frequency of the straight string depends on the tension in the string how does it depend directly proportional to square root of the tension frequency of the sound produced it is inversely proportional to the radius of the string frequency of the sound produced it is inversely proportional to square root of the density is that clear so you see you may get question like this how you can increase the frequency of sound produced by the straight string all right so if you remember this formula then you see how you can increase if you can increase f by increasing t by decreasing l by decreasing r by decreasing d is or not frequency how you can increase frequency you can increase how t you will increase or l you can decrease or r you can decrease or d you can decrease so you see by this four ways you can increase the frequency of the sound produced by a vibrating straight string so if i reversely if i ask the question that how to decrease the frequency of vibration of straight string then what you will do, you will write just opposite of it frequency decreases when t decreases l increases r increases d increases all right so kindly remember this formula then any question come on uh, mostly you will get the conceptual question only and most frequently asked question is this how to increase the frequency or how to decrease the frequency of the vibrating straight string then if you can remember the formula you can answer in a proper manner now next example that is also a vibration of a straight string only but in that case remember that in case of piano what happens that it will vibrate uh, the different strings will vibrate and different strings are having different length so when you are striking the keys of the piano then what happened then the reeds or the strings touch with it it vibrate and all the strings they are having different length different tension so that's why when you are striking the different keys then different frequency of sound is produced then the last example of natural vibration that suppose you have taken a string which is fixed into two rigid ends just look at the string this it is fixed at two rigid ends all right 
In this case, if you plug the spring, the, uh, string in the middle, then you will see the string will vibrate like this. All right. And when the string will vibrate like this, then the mode of vibration is known as fundamental mode and the corresponding frequency is known as the fundamental frequency. Is that clear? So when the string will have the fundamental frequency, when the string will just vibrate this way. You see it is forming one loop. Clear to everybody? Then next. What will be the next mode of vibration? In the next mode of vibration, you will observe that the loop, this one, sorry, it should be dotted. The string will vibrate making two loops. Alright, so what will be the frequency of vibration? When it is making two loops, it will be 2N. Then what is the next mode of vibration? That you can easily guess that the string string is vibrating making three loops then what is happening what will be the frequency frequency of vibration will be 3n so this is the fundamental concept of a string which is attached at both the ends rigidly in that case fundamental this is known as the fundamental mode of vibration when the string is vibrating making only one loop and in that case if you consider the frequency n is n means that is the fundamental frequency then what will be the next mode of vibration it will make two loops and then what will be the next mode of vibration it will make three loops then and what will be the next mode of vibration it will make four loops so on and what will be the frequency for the different mode of vibration it will be 2n for making two loops 3n for three loops 4n for four loops like this so if i ask you then what is the ratio of the frequencies of sound produced you see it will be 1 is to 2 is to 3 is to 4 like this so that's all about the natural vibration. You must learn the definition of natural vibration and then you must learn all the application of natural uh, vibration, sorry, examples of natural vibration as I said because question generally comes, conceptual question comes on the seventh example, then on the example of organ pipe and on the example of straight string. So kindly do learn it properly. Thank you girls.